Hey girl, hey, it's your girl Crystal and we are back with another wig review from Her Too Hair. It was sent to me through Amazon. With this unit, you are going to be looking at a standard cap construction. It's a 4x4 four four closure wig. So you're going to get those two combs in the front and one comb in the back with adjustable straps. What we're going to get started doing first is... Although the lace is already tinted, I'm going to tint it a little bit more. You know your girl is chocolate, so we are going to tint this lace a little bit more. And that's what you see me doing here. I'm going in with my foundation on my makeup brush, tinting that lace. And then I'm going to get the wig on just to make sure it's fitting okay to see how it feels when I put it on. Once I confirm that it fits, we're gonna go ahead and get that lace cut. So I'm going in with my small little eyebrow scissors and I am cutting that lace. Right here, I am just showing you guys what the hairline looks like outside of that four by four closure. I'm gonna put that wig back on. We got the lace cut. We're gonna go ahead and get this glued down. I'm going in with my favorite spray. That's that Eben Red Bottle Adhesive Spray. So easy and simple to use. Using my blow dryer. And I am going to stick that down just so easily. Y'all, this is a four by four closure, so you're not having to do a lot of work. You're gonna get that frontal effect with that four by four closure. You get four inches across the forehead and four inches back. So you got enough space to do a side part, right side, left part, or middle part. I'm going back in with my blow dryer to dry that down so we can get that looking as seamless as possible. Y'all know how I do. So right here, I did use my Juvia's Place foundation because I wanted to try it. It's like a velvety matte foundation and I wanted to try it just to see if it's going to give me that same effect as my Maybelline matte foundation. I did get minimal shedding. So right here, I am trying to decide what I'm going to be doing with my part what side is going to be on but I ran into <laughs> a few issues I noticed that this unit has some filler hairs but we're gonna get into all of those details later on in the video so what we're doing right here is we are styling the unit I'm going in with my wax stick because we have some filler hairs and some flyaways that I'm going to need to lay down. I need the top of this wig as flat as possible. I am going in with my Andis Hot Comb. I have it on the hottest setting on 20. This is a human hair unit. It is 16 inches long and it is a body wave texture. So using this Andis Hot Comb on the setting of 20 is perfectly fine. It can take it. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in with my pressed powder. I'm going to widen that part and I'm going to use my small little angled makeup brush and widen that part up with that pressed powder. What this does is it's going to highlight that part, allow it to stand out and just look so smooth and seamless. I did all that work to lay that hairline down. Well, not the hairline, I'm sorry to lay down that part so I'm not having any hump action. I got it laying down flat. So we are gonna top it off with a highlighted part. So 
and going back in with that hot comb to try to calm those little filler hairs down. I don't want to have any of those little hairs sticking up <laughs> if I can help it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get into curling this wig. I did tie it down and I came back and wanted to add some curls. So what we see here is just a, I, I got it on a sped up record, I guess, or replay is the word I'm looking for. Uh, and what I'm doing here is just curling this unit I want to style it so it does look cute. I got that right side part going. Curling both sides. And I will link down in the description box the hair clips that I use, the hairspray that I use, my flat iron that I use. I did get a little bit more shedding when I was curling the unit. Just very minimal, nothing too drastic. All right, now, now that I have the hair curled, I am going to add just a few little baby hairs to bring this wig to life a little bit. <laughs> little baby swoops or toddler swoops, whatever they, whatever you call them. And that mousse that I'm using, oh my God, that mousse works so good. It held them baby hairs down like the got to be black bottle did. And boy, I, I love that mousse. I will link it down in the description box so that you guys can go and grab your bottle because it's bomb. Okay, so now that we have finished styling the unit, I'm gonna do a few little combs, show you guys the, the crown of my head so you guys can see every part of that four by four closure. And then we're gonna get into the pros, the cons, and everything in between. Go ahead and keep on watching. So I am back and I'm all glammed up. Um, I did like this lazy girl cut crease and I am loving it y'all okay so let's get into this wig so this is the second day that I have had this wig on I recorded it yesterday and I left it on so I just wanted to show you guys um, you saw me film curling <laughs> the unit and here we are I can say the curls did not stay for the night so here we are second day and I just wanted to get into what I liked about this unit what I did not like so as I recurl this let's get into the pros and the cons of this unit okay so the pros of this unit and I don't have I have more cons than pros so let's go ahead and get the pros out of the way okay so the pros about this unit is I did like the lace the lace was already tinted it wasn't this ashy white lace so I did appreciate that I loved 
the tinted lace. Now, another thing is, this is an Amazon unit, so I do love the fast shipping and all of that. This uh, video is sponsored by Her Tune Hair. They sent this unit out to me to review. Um, and just a few of the specs on this unit. This is, they claim that this is a 150 density unit. They claim that this is 16 inches, okay? It's a body wave. They also claim that the curls will stay, <laughs> that you can curl this unit, which I can curl it. However, I don't feel the curls stay. So that is another pro to this unit that you can find it on Amazon and have it to you within one to two days, okay? However, I, I, I have some issues with this unit, okay? Now, I did have to use a wax stick <laughs> a lot to tame down all of these filler hairs on the four by four closure. When I saw those filler hairs, I was like, oh no, nah. I already knew that this was not going to be a unit for me, okay? Now, I did finesse my way. Y'all saw it when I was initially installing the unit. I did finesse. I used my wax stick. I used my Andis hot comb. And I did make it work because one thing we not finna do is be out here looking crazy, okay? So, that's my first con. All those dang on filler hairs that they put in the frontal. Second con is the fact that this hair is not 16 inches. I, I wanna say it's 14, okay? It's not true to length. They claim it's 16 inches, but it's not true to length, okay? Also, the closure is definitely not 16 inches. This is not 16 inches. This, no. There's another thing that I do not like is also, it also pertains to the wig construction, her tune hair. Around the edges right here, it's like, it, it's not laying as smooth as it should be. If you look at when I initially installed the wig, you could see how the cap is constructed. It's just not done neatly. It's kind of all over the place. I don't like that. I also have realized that this is not 150 density. It, it may be, 130 but it's not 150 it is soft i can't say the hair is soft and lightweight but it is not it's definitely not 150 density no way now let me see maybe i could do a middle part and it won't be so Y'all see that dang on closure that ain't about that life. Mm -mm. Let me get my wax stick. This don't make no sense. <laughs> I don't know why, but this you the baby mad, y'all. You know what? I may be able to let the whole, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, the middle part does look better. 
Let me put my earrings on. The middle part does look better, I can say. Now, for $75, 70, you know, 73 to $75 for this look, it is affordable. If you want to finesse your way, cool. You know, um, I did get minimal shedding and the cap size, it claims that it's a 22 and a half cap size, but that it fits any size cap any size uh, head because of the adjustable straps. I have the adjustable strap on the largest setting <laughs> and it is snug, like low key is kinda, feel like it's kinda squeezing my head. Okay, and that's all I got to say about her tuned hair that y'all got to do better, you know, but it is affordable and it's definitely a look. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me as I go over this wig review. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you've liked everything you've seen today. And definitely come back. Make sure you hit that notification bell because YouTube is going to let you know when I drop another video. And I don't want you to miss a thing. And for those that have been hanging with me from the jump, thank you so much. Uh, I can't do any of this without you guys. Tell me what you think about this in the comments. My my OGs, the ones that have been here with me, and, and even if you're still, if you're new to Simply Crystal, I wanna know what you are thinking about this unit. I just wasn't really feeling it. You guys can tell from my <laughs> review, but you guys, let me know what you are thinking. Is this something that you would pick up? Do you think for the price, it's worth it? You know, I, I did finesse my way. It doesn't look too shabby. So let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. And as always, y'all come back and chill with me. I appreciate you guys. So until next time, bye.